Hello everyone. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how to set up conversion tracking on LinkedIn ads. It's super simple, easy to do. Um, it's, you know, LinkedIn's a, a really great platform that we love setting conversion tracking on up because they keep it simple. It's much more simple than, than, you know, the majority of other advertising platforms. Um, so let's get started. So first things first, what you'll have to have installed on your website already is the LinkedIn Insight tag. Um, so go to your advertising account on LinkedIn, um, go to your the ad account that you wanna set conversion tracking up on, and go to your campaign manager. And on the left-hand side, you'll see this uh, where you'll have the Analyze tab and you'll have the Insight tag for conversion tracking. Those are gonna be the two that we'll look at today. The Insight tag needs to already be set up. Um, I'll include a video link of how to do that um, in the uh, description, um, but essentially that needs to be receiving signal and needs to be active on your website. Um, so we're going to be looking at conversion tracking. So we're going to click on conversion tracking and then we're going to go to create conversion and then we're going to be looking at online conversion. Um, today we're going to be using the method um, of the, pa the page load method. Um, so this is the easiest way to set up a conversion, um, to track a conversion on, on LinkedIn. Um, so before we go to, we've just opened up this, the setup page of the conversion, but before we do that, I'm just going to show you what we're going to track, um, based on, this is our demonstration website. Um, you can see that it is like a, an e-commerce website, but for the purpose of this video, we'll go over to the contact page and we'll pretend that. This contact page, this contact form could be um, a form submission on your site. It could be an event registration, but event sign up. It could be, you know, putting your details to download a PDF. Um, it could be requesting a free demo, whatever it might be. It still remains the same that a lot of uh, conversions happen when somebody fills in a form on your site, right? So that's usually the case. Now, what we need to have um, in order for this conversion tracking to work is that we need to have a once the form is submit submitted you need to have a, a, a redirect in place that takes you to a unique thank you page so you need a thank you page or a confirmation page when somebody completes that that valuable action on your website so whether it be a form submission or a purchase or whatever it might be you need to be delivering people to a unique thank you page or confirmation page because this is what we're going to track um, because only people that complete that action come to this page on your site. Nobody comes here directly. So in this case, like the example, we're going to be tracking an, a thank you page. So we're going to give it a name called thank you page. Um, try to keep your names for conversion descriptive so you know and keep track of what they are. Um, now we have the option to define the key conversion that, that behavior that we want to track. And there's a long drop down list here to choose from on LinkedIn. Um, the only thing to be aware of here is that all of these will mostly uh, track conversions in the same way. The only ones that are different are add to cart and purchase. Now, the difference with these is that LinkedIn will track every conversion in the conversion window for add to cart and purchase because for example let's say that somebody within one uh, within like one week somebody makes two purchases from your website you know they're separate purchases and they might be for different amounts or what you know whatever they, they might have purchased from you so you want to track both however if you've got somebody like a thank you page and they get in touch with you twice in the same week um, LinkedIn will only count it once um, because it will recognize that, you know, it's the, it's the same, same conversion. Um, so the idea there is that, you know, it's just a different way that it will, you know, you know, you need to kind of differently, um, measure, uh, the conversion when it's like a purchase or add to cart, um, because it has, you know, it's a much different type of conversion compared to say like a lead form submission. In this case, lead is the, uh, most appropriate. So for the thank you page. And then we can move on to the value of the conversion. Now, one of the things to mention here is that LinkedIn does not support um, the kind of more enhanced e-commerce um, functionality that we might be used to with platforms such as Facebook ads, uh, Google ads, 
um, or Google Analytics, like enhanced e-commerce tracking, where you know you bring in dynamic values. Um, so, for example, you bring in the value of whatever the the total of you know your shop was, right? So in this case, you know I've got a shop here, but somebody's might have a combination of purchases, and this value, this purchase value, conversion value at the at every time is going to change, which is why it's good to bring in dynamic values because it changes with each order. We can't do that on LinkedIn. This has to be a static or single value, right? So in this case, it means that we can either, if, it's not a problem if you've got a site that you're selling a product that only has one price, right? So let's, let's say you're selling a course and all your courses are a hundred pounds, then you can, you know, you know that it's a hundred pounds that you're going to be making. Just like if you know that you're, you know, you've got one event and your event, event is going to cost a hundred, you know, a hundred pounds or 90 pounds to attend, then you know that each one is going to be, you know, that's going to be the value of your conversion. Um, Alternatively, if you do have like um, a good data set to use, some uh, businesses and, and, and clients, you know, businesses, what they like to do is take an average order value that, that comes from, you know, um, overall. And they'll put, so say if your average order value is like 55 pounds or, I don't know, 150 pounds, then you can put that in place. And that's like your average order value. So the reason why this is good to use is because it, it allows you then to add, an, a, you know, to e more easily calculate the ROI um, of your campaigns, uh, you know, and, and measure the success of your campaign, your LinkedIn ads campaigns. So it's a good tool, tool to use. However, um, mostly on LinkedIn, you're usually going to be leaving it blank, um, usually because it's it's actually more accurate to, to leave it blank and not get into, um, you know, uh, you know, average order values and things where actually you're not, you know, if you haven't got the option for dynamic values, essentially, is that it can become a bit more complicated and, and you know, you're not getting accurate data. So also with LinkedIn, you're most likely going to be doing B2B or lead generation. So you might not be sure what that, the value of that lead or, um, is going to be yet um, because they might, you know, purchase from you in two, three months time or, they might go on to be a lifelong customer uh, or client of yours that you work with, um, you know, for, for a long time. So in this case, we're going to leave it blank. Um, the next is the conversion window settings, or as LinkedIn calls it, the, the time frame um, of when the conversion is uh, going to be counted. So we have two options here, clicks and views. So at the moment, by default, this will be set to 30 day click, seven day view. Um, and what this means is that this will count a conversion if within that time frame of when somebody has clicked on within 30 days of someone clicking on your ad and within seven days of somebody viewing your ad. Now we can customize this to be way more generous. So we can be clicks within 90 days and views within 90 days. Now this might be more applicable if you've got a very, very long uh, sales funnel uh, or consideration cycle between when somebody's first introduced to your product or brand and business to, to the point where they actually you know, become a paying customer. So if, that's, if that kind of general cycle is very, very long, you might decide to have a very large um, conversion window. Whereas if you're you know, quite a, uh, you know, if people make a purchasing decision very, very quickly, um when they see you know your your, your product or your service then you might choose to have something which is you know much less or um what you can consider is that if you do have 90 days and 90 days you are going to see more conversions in your account because you've got more time um you know your your window your your conversion window is much longer so if you're if you want to collect data and if you want to see the impact on a much larger scale the impact of your campaign your linkedin ads campaigns on a much larger scale then it's a good idea to kind of you know have a, a the, the the biggest window possible um so and it, and it's much more generous for your reporting figures right because you're going to get you know you're going to be able to see that there's going to be more conversions coming from linkedin ads because you're counting things in a much you know gen more generous window um, in this case, I'm just going to use the standard. I'm just going to use 30 days and seven day view. Um, and then the next option is the, uh, the attribution model. So what this, um, what this basically is, is with the last touch, each campaign will assign the conversion to 
um, it will it will it will assign the conversion um, in it was across the whole uh, journey. So, for example, if you've got three campaigns and each one of those ads at some point contributed to the final conversion, then it will assign that conversion on ac across those campaigns. So, you know, say if you have one conversion, but it will assign that one conversion across those campaigns. Whereas um, last touch, last campaign is more of a last click model. So it will assign the conversion fully on the last um, interaction that happened. So what I would suggest is that you go for um, last click um, and last campaign um, simply because it's with LinkedIn and, and LinkedIn's kind of conversion tracking, it's it, it can be much more it can basically keep give you a much easier time of of your account management when you're managing the ads um because you will see a more kind of accurate it's easier to see more accurate data rather than potentially getting confused with seeing multiple conversions but actually it can confuse what your actual total is because you can get lost in thinking well actually you know I've got this you know these campaigns that are performing really well um because you're seeing that conversion being, you know, identified across the whole of the, um, a whole of the uh, uh, interaction, like each, each campaign. Um, whereas actually, that can be confusing because you might be, it might overinflate the value of those campaigns in in terms of like what actually drove the result. Um, so unfortunately, LinkedIn doesn't have any other options for attribution models that are more advanced like we see in say google ads where with google ads we can have data driven or position based which will give us you know decimal segmentation of you know a campaign or a, that will uh, a, a, you know a, a, an ad group or you'll have a decimal that will kind of say 0 0.2 right so 0 0.2 of that one of that conversion Get, you know was was but was on this interaction with this this particular campaign or with this particular keyword right whereas with linkedin we haven't got that advanced attribution model so in this case last touch last campaign head over to the next step this will ask you to select the campaigns that we want to track with the conversion if you've already got a campaigns existing in uh, linkedin ads you will see um, campaigns to select here and then of course you can just assign those campaigns if you want to so if you want to assign that conversion straight away to those campaigns you can bear in mind that that, that will start bringing in the, that conversion data into your campaigns um, if they're live um, so you know bear that in mind but what you don't have to set select anything here um, and you might also what you might want to be doing is actually setting up a campaign at like at the moment I haven't set up my campaign yet so I'm not going to be assigning a campaign because I want to set it up at a later date I want to sort my conversion tracking out first so you can actually just skip this skip this step with not selecting anything or you can actually assign that conversion to the campaign at a later date in the campaign setup or settings or coming back, you know, and, and going to the conversion, uh, the conversion and editing it. So move on to the next step. And that's where we're going to go to the, the main kind of defining um, the where we really define what our conversion is going to be. So like I said, we need to have the insight uh, tag uh, on on the site. And then we're going to be you should already have this method selected as, as the preferred or default setting here. Um, so we've got the option of page load or event specific. Now, for the purpose of this easy guide to LinkedIn tracking, we're going to be using page load. We're not going to be doing event specific. Um, page load is it, it, it really requires you to, like I said, have these thank you pages or confirmation pages set up on your site. So when somebody completes that action, they get directed to a unique thank you page and a URL that we can track. Whereas it really depends on your website functionality on if you can use that or not. If you haven't or don't have the, you know, you can't set up thank you page, you know, unique thank you pages and, and those redirects, <clears throat> then you're going to be looking more at the event specific method, um, which adds us, you know, gives you a specific piece of code to add. So you can track things like, say, a button click. 
or you know you can track basically yeah events that happen um, but in this case we're just going to be focusing on page load so we need to go down to the page load conversion here and define what we actually want to match on the URL so we're going to have a URL that starts with we can have equals starts with or contains in this case we're going to stick stick with starts with I'm going to go back over to my thank you page and I'm going to copy that URL and I'm going to paste it in here so I'm going to take out that, that slash at the end, but starts with um, my fake show up forward slash thank you. So now that will match the URL that starts with that um, uh, that string, basically that 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 yeah that URL. Um, so we've got you know forward slash thank you, and that will start to match, and 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 that will trigger the conversion. Now. If you've got multiple thank you pages or things that you can also you know play around with you know things like contains or equals so if you want to be very more way more specific you can use the equals option um, you can also have the option to well you can also play around and add the of, of the add and and or uh, and and or um, rules or filters whatever you would like to call them um, so for example if you want more of a if you want to set up a conversion that's more based around a certain journey that someone's gone on or a, or a funnel. So if you want to set up a conversion um, for, say, somebody who's gone from your um, gone to their basket to the checkout to the thank you page, then you can set that up by using these um, and uh, or rules. Um, similarly, you, you know, whether somebody like say if somebody's come to this thank you page, but we've got like a white paper or a PDF download that's also on our thank you page, you could have an and rule. Um, so you want somebody that has been to the thank you page and also, you know, uh, set up a convert, you know, basically a, a PDF, so you go to the second confirmation page when they download the PDF, for example. So then you can have and also goes to PDF confirmation page. So you can get quite, um, um, yeah, qu quite uh, advanced in, in what you'd like to like to track and set up a conversion for. Anyway, we go to create, and that's when we get our thank you page conversion, and it's all ready. Now, the only thing we need to obviously wait for is when this signal comes through, um, and just to make sure that LinkedIn is actually receiving the signal from that page. Um, in this case, I'm just going to try and do that now and see if it will work. Um, I'm just going to click around on the site a little bit go back to the thank you page refresh it a few times um, and then just go back over to this page and refresh as well okay it's not receiving any signal yet um, but that's the case is just to wait um, sometimes I've seen this you know not appear for you know maximum of like 24 hours sometimes where it just doesn't appear and doesn't register anything if you're not getting a signal after you know a day, and you've been you, you, and you know that you've been getting website traffic, that would be the time to troubleshoot um, and start to think, well, actually something's not right. So perhaps the match rule that we just set up on the URL is not exactly right, and it's not really it's not triggering triggering the conversion. Um, but yeah, let me just refresh that again, just see before I finish the video, see if it will come through. No, no signal yet. So I, you know, you'd be keep checking back until you see that that signal appear. Um, and and this should basically turn turn green and indicate to you that that's that's working, um, and then there you go, you've got your conversion set up. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll if you haven't set up the LinkedIn Insight tag, you can also watch that video. We've also got a blog post about that, um, and I'll also include the blog post link to uh, setting up conversion tracking as well if you want to do read through and follow the guide in a written format. Um, but thanks for watching, and yeah, of course, just uh, let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.